Are we in LA permanently? Oh my God, I'm so lame. I've never had valet parking at a grocery store. How's those vibes, Lou? Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's about 6 a.m. here in LA right now. I'm about to have my breakfast. And yes, we moved to Los Angeles. Oh my gosh, this is our first vlog in LA. Good morning, I didn't know we were vlogging today, but. Well, yeah, I just wanted to document a little bit because I was gonna wait to vlog until after our app shoot because things have been so crazy and we've been like working really hard on our physiques for the shoot and just like on the business and settling in here, but I want to document it. We're just loving it here so much. So I'm about to have my breakfast and then we're gonna hit the gym. We've been getting up at 5 a.m. every day, going on a beach run with Lulu. Lulu freaking loves it here. We've essentially stayed on New York time. Yeah, we, we pretty wake much. Up at 5 a.m., which is 8 a.m. in New York. It's starting to get a little more challenging. The day feels so long. You have so much more time to do things, and you get this like secret part of the day where no one else is up. It's pretty magical. That's that. I'm drinking my greens. These have been getting me through this app shoot prep and keeping me not bloated, and I owe everything to the greens pretty much. So. I'm gonna eat my breakfast. I'll check in with you guys at some point in this video. You're calling me, Greg. Sorry. At some point in this video, I'm going to sit down with Greg and we're gonna talk about why we left New York. A lot of you are asking, are we in LA permanently? Are we going back to New York? What's the plan? So we're gonna go over that later in the video. Talk to you soon. Okay, so the clip that you guys just watched was filmed about three weeks ago. I never continued filming. Life was crazy. We had all these shoots going on, all these people visiting us from our team. And you know what? I was just trying to settle into LA. I was trying to update my Instagram. It was too much for me, but I'm back. We're back on YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. It is now September. We've been in LA for a month, still freaking loving it. I have so much to say about it. I don't wanna spew it all out right now, but life has been good here. I'm really glad we made the decision to come out here. I was struggle bussing in New York. I was really having a hard time there. It was just, it was all a little bit too much for me with the pandemic and whatnot. So I feel like I have a ton to update you guys on, but I'm really happy to be hanging out with you guys today. I just got ready for the day. We have still been waking up at 5 a.m. Greg wakes up at 5 a.m. He takes Lulu to the beach and then I get up around 5.36 and then we go straight to the gym. So we went to the gym today and then we come home and we have breakfast and we have our team call. Still super early mornings. So I am just getting the energy to talk to you guys. And I'm just gonna take you through my day. I'm just chewing some ice right now. Today is Friday, which is a little bit more of a chill day for us. We have one team call. We have a team call every single day, a lot of ongoing projects, but now we've kind of built up our team so much that we have people helping us. <laughs> So Greg and I have some free time now, which is amazing. I've been dreaming of this day for a while. We'll see what we get up to. I think I have to go grocery shopping and the grocery shopping in LA is, I love it. It's so fun. There's so many healthy options. Ah, it's, it's like a dream for me. Anyway, right now I'm gonna make my breakfast of the moment. I forget what it was last time I spoke to you guys. Maybe it was eggs and avocado. It's not that different now, if that's the case. I do avocado toast and eggs. Usually I'll do a matcha or a black iced tea. Eating healthy and working out in LA is so much easier than in New York. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that I prepped for the app shoot in New York. And that was tough. There's no personal space in New York. So going on a run or like anything was impossible and then healthy the eating choices there are not as fruitful as here. Here there's everything, everything keto, everything paleo, like whatever diet you are following, you'll find something. And all the ingredients are super healthy. So that has been nice. I have to stop talking now. Comment down below what you've been up to. I missed you guys. I'm glad I can chat with you again. And uh, yeah, let's get into the day. And Lulu missed you guys so freaking much. Right? You missed them a beacon. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. This is the bread I've been using for my avocado toast. I love it because it's thin sliced, so you can have like a decent amount of it without going overboard, if that makes sense. I just do one slice because I like to layer up the avocado. So I have my two eggs under here. What I like about the lid is it's like cooking the whole thing 
and I've been into a little bit of a more firm yolk lately. Don't at me, just something I'm trying. Okay, so here is our next step in the process. We have a pounder. What do you even call this thing? Either way, I freaking love it. It's amazing. A kind of crazy looking avocado, but the avocados here are so good. Obsessed. Some lemon juice, some salt, pretty simple. Throw it all in, mash it up, and throw it on our toast, which is done. Yes. And we just need to add a good amount of salt. No, salt is not bad for you. Restaurants and other places when you eat out will overdo the salt, but if you're adding it at home, it's virtually impossible to do too much and you need it for functioning. Hello, Lulu. Are you okay? Here is our finished result. So cute, so yummy. Probably gonna go eat this outside. Oh yeah, this is our cute little house rental. We love this house. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Lulu loves it, right? Right? Look who's back from his haircut. I'm actually making my content right now. <laughs> Do you mind? Greg is on his influencer game. It's How many followers do you have? I think 20,000. There's a K. I know there's a K on there. And I know I can put a swipe up. Swipe to the sky. <laughs> this is some quality content right now. I didn't even know I, I liked pumpkin spice. This is this is the real deal. Like, it's really freaking good. This yet, please. Take a whiff. It smells exactly like a pumpkin yeah. pie. Take a sniff, guys. <sighs> Literal pumpkin pie. Okay, so I actually changed because it is freezing here in the morning. Obviously it's been really hot here in LA for the most part, like in the hundreds, but in the morning it's freezing. So having a little green tea. Mm. <laughs> it's too hot. Before Greg and I hop onto our team call, I wanted to give you an update on how everything went with our shoot. The app that we're creating, which you guys don't know the name of yet, I'll give you a hint. It's a word that I use a lot when I'm talking about like female power and like killing it. Can you figure it out? Comment below. The app shoot itself went amazing. It was really nice to get it done and also get it done with people that we love. The production company we worked with is like family to us. They are amazing. We love them. We get along with them professionally, but also just as friends. So it was so fun. The app shoot itself was done in Malibu. We had a oceanfront house rented, which was insane. The water was like literally coming under the house. So the full view was just of the ocean. And as we were shooting, we saw dolphins go past. I had my hair and makeup done. I felt really proud of the physique I brought and I think Greg felt really proud of his as well. So we shot the app. It was the at home section for the app. So it was all home exercises. We did 68 exercises in about three hours. So that was pretty good. And then we went outside and did some shots for Bloom and for Mari Fitness. So that was amazing. In addition, the week we did the app shoot, we also had a couples shoot here in Venice. It was a little bit of a spontaneous thing, but they came out super cute. That was mine and Greg's first couple shoot. Believe it or not, with the career that I have, I'm not the most comfortable posing on camera. And like, I don't love photo shoots. Like they make me feel kind of awkward. But since being here in LA, we've honestly done so many shoots that now I just feel pretty chill about it. I have some good poses that I like and I, I just feel better on camera, which is great because that is my job. So, <laughs> and then we also had another shoot with our team member, Sydney. Sydney is our creative director. She's amazing. She lives back in Brooklyn. And and she came all the way out here and spent the week with us. Well, she was on set for the Malibu shoot, but we also did a shoot in Venice. We had the whole production company come to our house here and all the models. We did hair and makeup in our house. And then we hit Abbot Kinney, which is like the most famous street in Venice with all the shops and murals and things. And we did like a traveling photo shoot. We were hopping around, going to the beach, the murals, everything. One of the models didn't show up, which is her loss. Who wouldn't want to work with Bloom? I jumped in for her, so that was fun. After that, Greg and I took a little bit of a break. We spent a two day trip in Santa Barbara. We drove up with Lulu and we had a beachfront room. It was super, super fun and a much needed break. We have been loving LA. We have the best routine here. We wake up super early. Lulu goes to the beach. We get to the gym. We have our team call at usually 9 a.m. our time. And then we spend the day working in this beautiful house. At the end of every day, we always go on some kind of adventure because we've been trying our best 
to like learn LA, figure out all the different spots, the food spots, like everything we can. Oh my God, we've been trying so many great restaurants. I'm a cafe addict, like you'll find me. We didn't have an office for years. I would just literally make cafes my office. And so we've been going to tons of cafes. We love creation. 15 variants. Butcher's Daughter. 15 variants. Zinc. Juista. I also went on a hike at Griffith Observatory with a new girlfriend, which was super, super fun. The view was amazing. I could see all of LA. So yeah, we have just been freaking loving it out here. And we've made the executive decision to spend the entire winter out here, right? Yeah, I mean, it's just we, the work-life balance. I feel like we're just grinding and then we still have time to have some fun at the end of the day. Waking up crazy early, we're crushing it with our team and then we hop right into the car with Lulu and go explore some new areas. Like it's just been non-stop but it's been super fun. Just like mental health, like I feel like I'm more productive and less stressed. I feel like LA really suits us. We do have our entire family back in New York so I think we're gonna be bi-coastal for a long time now. Honestly, it's really tough to come up with a long-term plan in this pandemic. I don't think anyone knows what they're doing so we've given up on trying to come up with a long-term plan and our plan is just to go where it makes us happy so we are spending the entire winter out here possibly longer and we're really excited and we got the same house so we're staying in this freaking house we're gonna jump on our team call now and we'll chat with you guys in a little Okay guys, we're done with our meeting. I am chugging some water. I've decided to make this video a full day of eating because I want to give you guys like an updated look at my diet. Right now I'm choosing what to order for pickup for lunch from Irwan. If you are not from LA, you may not know, Irwan is a super healthy grocery store here in LA. They have like everything healthy and they are super forward thinking with like their food and their drinks, but everything's super healthy from there. So it's like my dream. They have all these different options. So I think I'm going to get like an acai bowl and a matcha, but something else else I've been doing is you guys know I don't do super well with sugar but they have these keto desserts and they're pretty small and I just get one and I have it in the evening so I think I'm gonna try the chocolate mousse usually I get either like a brownie or a muffin um, but they're so good and they taste very like buttery I'm gonna go ahead and order this and then I think we're gonna walk Lulu and we're gonna go pick up some lunch and you guys will come with I will probably also throw some groceries in there while I'm there because they have the best groceries Guys, even Lulu has been loving Irwan, right? These are your favorite Irwan treats? Good girl. Yeah. Good job. Wow, I love this angle for me. We're going to the store. What are you making, sprouts? Yeah, I Brussels sprouts. Ew. See ya ladies, get out of here talking crap about my Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Okay guys, not the best angle, but we're in the car. That was crazy. I had free valet parking. Like I entered the parking lot ready to park myself and a guy ran over and he was like, complimentary parking. I was like, oh my God, very fancy. The first thing I got is a lovely matcha uh, Americana. It's just like matcha, no milk, unsweetened, like hot and it's so good. I am obsessed with matcha. It gives like a really nice slow release energy throughout the day rather than like a burst. And that's why we have it in our greens. I was gonna grocery shop while I was in there, but it was too much. There was a lunch rush and uh, it was too much for me. So here's my little order. Oh my God, I'm so lame. This is my keto chocolate mousse for tonight. I've heard amazing things about their chocolate mousse. Wow, these ingredients. Oh my God, there's like MCT oil in here, cold brew, pink Himalayan salt, avocado. They do not mess around with their ingredients. So this is for tonight. Oh shoot. Okay, I didn't get a spoon. That's my bad. So we gotta go home, but ooh, this is my pitaya bowl. Apparently pitaya has less sugar in it than acai. That's why I did that. And then I just had a bunch of toppings on it. Okay, well, you know what? I was flustered. It was a little too much for me in there. I'm an anxious gal, but I, I did it. Wow, that was so weird. I've never had valet parking at a grocery store. That's just really how it be out here in LA. Okay, guys, we are home now. I have my pitaya bowl here. Wow. I don't know what these, I think there's fruits in here. Looks really good. I'm gonna eat this, have my matcha. Lulu is just 
over here vibing right now. How's those vibes, Lou? I'm gonna eat my pitaya bowl and then I'll check in with you guys when I have my next snack, meal, whatever. Okay, fam, next snack. I'm having some of these Lundberg mini rice cakes. They're actually really great snacks. This is them. I just threw some Irwan peanut butter on there, and then I'm having a Bloom vanilla protein shake to get my protein in. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna keep working. I had a meeting that I completely forgot about, so that's great. And uh, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. So guys, we're actually off to Malibu right now. Malibu is one of our favorite places to go hang out at the end of the work day. So we're gonna go do a little bit of shopping. There's a really fun tie-dye store there, so we're gonna check that out. We're gonna do some grocery shopping, maybe grab a smoothie or something fun. Maybe grab a beach view, hit some sand between our toes. Maybe. Okay, we have arrived. This is where we're hanging out and we're gonna go shopping now. You probably can't even see I have a mask on. Bam. <laughs> Bam. So we are back from the Malibu Country Mart. The Malibu Country Mart is like this outdoor mall with like a ton of stores, like Whole Foods, a bunch of grocery stores. So we went shopping and we also went grocery shopping because we're going to make taco bowls tonight. And I'll show you guys how those come out. Right now I'm in a robe because I'm going to go in the sauna for a while. Greg and I actually have a little personal sauna here in our house. This is our little sauna. It's on our patio. I have it heating up right now let me show you it takes a while to heat up so while i'm waiting i am going to show you guys some of the things i got at the malibu country mart i just like didn't bring that many clothes with me for this whole month so had to get some things i have my personal helper cute me hi crazy you wow thank you Okay guys, it's pretty messy behind me. I apologize. We don't really have like a good organization system for our clothes because there's not a ton of closet space like open for us here. So from Urban Outfitters, I've been wanting like an oversized flannel to wear over a sports bra and like biker shorts. I like that style. So I got this little number. And then Greg and I really, I don't know why, we love cheesy like kind of touristy stuff. So <laughs> sometimes. So we got these Malibu hoodies, which are so fun. This one's mine. And Greg got this like tan one. So those are fun. And also low key, the mornings and nights are pretty cold here. So it's nice to have some hoodies. And then my last item, I got a dress for Palm Springs. I love wearing dresses out to dinner. It like, it's just so comfy. And if you're gonna eat a lot, it fits like the bloating, the bloat belly. I always seem to get dresses from this brand called Planet Blue. Super, super cute. Oh, well, it's not done up right now, but it's a wrap dress. So it has like a deep V neck and then it like ties at the waist and then it like goes down to your knee. Super pretty, super cute. And that's everything I got. So we're having taco bowls again tonight. I didn't end up having like a proper meal for lunch, which I'm kind of annoyed about because all I had was that pitaya bowl and a protein shake. Like I really normally would have more real food as well. I'm gonna have a big dinner. Hello, why can't this focus on me? I'm gonna have a big dinner and my chocolate mousse for dessert, which I'm so excited about. Okay guys, I'm out of the sauna, out of the shower. I feel very like refreshed. And I just came downstairs to a pretty nice Surprise. You like this every night, fam. This is mm -hmm. our taco bowl set up. Greg, you wanna talk us through what we got? We're doing taco bowl, shredded lettuce. Yo, you turned me on to this. It's just super lean ground beef. I, we just notice when we keep like, a little bit of red meat in our diet that we just like feel way better. Mm -hmm. We perform way better at the gym when we eat it. All right, guac, feta, fresh tomatoes. I like to cheese. use this as sour cream, a little lemon juice, some habaneros, right? Yeah. Or jalapenos. Air one salsa and truffle. Guys, if you have a Whole Foods near you, you have to immediately go and get this truffle hot sauce. It's insane. We put it on everything. And then the salsa, all we did with this is we just make sure there's no added oil and no added sugar. This is just pretty much squashed up tomatoes and herbs. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty much the name of the game with everything. Normally this guac would be real avocados, but there was none ready to eat, right? I think we go through about four avocados a day I between the two of us. It's insane. Like yeah. we both eat so many. Yeah, we're just churning through them. So we gotta get some more, but we're gonna make our bowls. I'll show you guys what they look like when we're done. Our neighbor has an avocado tree. I may or may not sneak over tonight. <laughs> okay guys, this is how they came out. They look pretty freaking bomb. Super excited to eat them. 
Thanks, Chef Greg. So guys, I'm gonna close this video out here. I'm gonna enjoy my taco bowl and then I'm gonna have my chocolate mousse, which you guys saw already, my keto chocolate mousse. And that's it for the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.